Hello folks, welcome to the last video commentary of the Swiss phase of the first South American online festival. After this match, the quarterfinals began and the Chagas team was already in a comfortable position by that point. So even though they lost the final match, they still qualified easily. And so they lost 20 imps to the Santiago team, which was a team by, of Chilean ladies that also reached their own qualifying, separate qualifying positions and the knockout stages for the ladies' championship. And the final score was 34 to 14, which is not a very extreme score, but as we can see, most of the swings went in their direction. So let's look at them one by one, see what we can learn. First board, actually board number two, but first swing board, began by South opening one club, which is a normal opening bid. Some people would open one diamond, have to agree. It's a matter of style and perhaps agreement with your partner. And West had a clear cut, no trump over call in range and with a flat hand and at least one club stopper might become two if East Country contributed with an honor. North had nothing to say here. He didn't have any guarantees that he'd have either a fit, a good fit, or the dominance in high cards. So he passed and East transferred to hearts and there they were. And when you count the defensive tricks, the, the clever losers, you see one spade, two hearts, and two clubs. That's five. The diamond finesse is on. So there's five apparent losers. Let's see how the play developed. After this lead, it's a very good lead by North. And now the defense has the chance to make one extra trick. Almost sure that it will make an extra trick as a spade rough. Jack of Hearts ducked by the by North. And now Club. And the Queen of Hearts. And now the Spade Rough. As expected. Yeah. Note, it's important to, to observe a few things in in not high level. This is not high level carding, but it's uh, good enough carding that it should be highlighted. When South wins the King of Spades and returns a deuce, that is always a doubleton, an original doubleton. Because if he had three spades originally, he would return with his remaining doubleton the highest card. So let's get back to those spade tricks to understand better what I'm talking about. Let's look at it from North's viewpoint. The Queen of Spades was a good card played by West because it's a card that South denied by winning with the Spade King. So that is the card that North is already sure that is in West. So West plays it and reveals no new information to North. But this is the important trick here. This Deuce of Spades, if West had Queen Jack tight, South would have king seven and two and would return the seven. And that if if we exchange the deuce of spades with the seven of spades, and so the, the first trick was spade to the king and the second is the seven of spades. Imagine the seven of spades, jack. Now north is in doubt. Now north doesn't know whether south has two or three spades. And there's no carding system that can clarify all situations. But if you can clarify some of them, you're already ahead in the game. And this is one example. The deuce of spades is absolutely a singleton right now, because if it were a doubleton, South would have played its high, her, his highest spade. And that is why the defense from North was 
aimed at giving that speed rough eventually. Right now, he was under no doubt that South would rough this. And now they catch the clubs in a nice defense, but the contract down one. At the other table, a similar auction, even though South opened one diamond rather than one club. And ironically, perhaps, where South did not open on one club, North led a club. And there's still time. There's still time to get that spade rough. But not now. Not now. If Wes had won the ace of clubs instead of Ducky and let a heart, North could win the king and play a spade. And even the Bodemi, if he's uh, ignores the finesse, wins with the ace, blocking the spade suit, plays another heart, then South can win, cash the king of spades, and has an entry to North in the jack of clubs to get its spade rough. But after the queen of clubs won the the first trick, North had to switch to spades immediately to get into the right track. And it's obviously very hard to do that, especially because South has encouraged in clubs. And so now there's no further entry. For a spade rough. Now the Clara is still drawing trumps. And we'll lose only the king of spades at the end and make eight tricks. So this first swing was in favor of Chagas, but there won't be many as we saw. For number three, one spade, three diamonds, some kind of Bergen raise. Yeah, uh, limit raise with four trumps. And south bid four spades, which is. Pushy, yes, but not not out of character for these players who like to push the game at all circumstances. He has a 5-3-3-2 and only 13 high card points, but they are good 13, right? They are king, queen of hearts, they are combining and the aces. And so it's hard to understand why Marcelo decided south decided to push the game. And the lead was the Ace of Hearts. And this is not a big problem for the Clara because he's rough with a trick. And so he'll have only to guess clubs. Jack, Jack of Hearts basically saying, I don't have the Ace of Clubs. Now the Clara draw trumps, draws trump. And plays a club to the jack because he's very much aware from the carding, from the bidding, that Wes with eighth jack and seven hearts and the ace of clubs would have bid something for sure. <clears throat> that he's, he's aware that the ace of clubs is offside. And so that his only chance to win this game is to play a club to the jack. And then he claims 10 tricks. It's a ordinary piece of card reading. At the other table, one spade Wes decided to be two hearts and I'm with him. I don't think that a nice seven card suit should be quiet in the bidding. And even though there's no easy way to describe it, I, I would probably do one spade three hearts. Vol against not, even though vol against not is very bad for a preemptive bit but i have seven hearts and it would mislead partner less this double at the end of this auction two no trump is probably some kind of raise yes and then south declined the invitation and north accepted its own invitation and this is one reason why it's double the the doubtful bidding from north south they were not confident enough in their bidding so he thought they were stretching they were stretching and in a sense they were 
but also he expected a bit more power from a vulnerable overcaller at the two level, which is why my favorite bid, my recommended bid in this position would be once paid three hearts and, and well, of course, it, this can go very badly, but it's hard for them to penalize you when you have that good of a suit. And the seventh card is a wonder. And so, as we've seen, there's a little chance that the defense can prevail here unless the Clara misguesses clubs and the opening lead prevented that. After these first three tricks, the Clara will make the rest. Okay. So that's one swing for the Chilean ladies. What's going on? Oh, I think I deleted. Let's open it again. Sorry about that, folks. But we want to look at every swing possible. So, as if we can look at here, the swing here is one table made for hearts and the other went down. Both in the same contract, so this is a card play. There is ace-king and ace-king to be lost. So this looks like a defensive disaster for north-south here. So let's see what happened. Let's, defense is hard enough and we can't rush it, especially when there are two very great players like Gabriel Chagas and Marcelo Branco miss something that looks obvious to us. We want, we want to understand why. So let's follow this board very carefully. He's open one heart in third in hand. South had bid one spade, two hearts. And pass by north is very much a denial of three spades in any useful hand. It's not an absolute denial. North can have three spades in an in a absolutely trashy hand. But if his hand is useful in any way, with three spades, he would, he would raise. So that's one data point that we must keep in mind. He says spades, and they play standard attitude and count. Six and eight. So what it means is Marcelo is looking at these cards, and the missing cards are the five and four, and so he knows that the king of spades will survive. Because North would never play six from six, five, four, playing standard attitude and count. He would never encourage, even if he had that trashy hand with three spades. And so North had either a singleton spade or two spades, six, five, or six, four. But still, he was what he was playing for here. When he switched to a club, we can see that this was a disaster because the Clara could draw trumps and discard a diamond in the fourth club. So this already ended the hand. But consider what was Marcelo playing for. He was trying to get to to make a a neutral shift so that the Clara would have to break diamonds on its own. Perhaps if partner had a trump entry, imagine the king's second of hearts, something like that, and one less diamond. It's important to realize that his nine of club switch can only harm if the Clara can make 10 tricks in the rounded suits. So that is either six hearts and four clubs, which is what he did since one of the hearts was a rough but if the Clara had six hearts in his in her hand, six hearts and four clubs, he has only three losers and there's nothing we can do. If he has only five hearts and four clubs, or three clubs and three diamonds, then this defense is safe. So it was a, a bit of a harsh punishment for this neutral shift. I think all things considered that he should have cashed the King of Spades because North might have a singleton spade. And after cashing the king of spades, one, the one, one way to look at it is, if North has either a singleton spade 
or two spades. Then the Claire will play a spade in herself after drawing trumps. And so any neutral defense is not bound to be successful. He will have to play diamonds eventually. Either now, of course, if you switch the ace of the ace of clubs with the king of diamonds, imagine the Claire has two small king second of diamonds or king third and all the clubs apart from the ace. But then you're defeating two. If you want partner to get a, a trick here, that's already one down, regardless of the second diamond trick. So all things considered, I think South Marcelo erred by switching to the nine of clubs here, which is not a common occurrence to analyze a mistake from Marcelo, but that's what it looks like from me, from this position. Now declare do trumps and pitch the club, pitch a diamond on the club. At the other table, North North made it things much easier for the defense because she opened a weak two diamonds. And I think that in vulnerable in second position, this is probably odds against. I would not, as I criticize Marcelo's defense, South's defense, I'm not ready to criticize North's decision to not open two diamonds here. I don't think it's a mandatory or even uh, odds favorably two diamond opening. I think it's a bad opening, but it simplified things marvelously for North South because now there's no hesitation in cashing the first four tricks. So this is a big swing caused mostly by South's decision in the defense. Okay, board number eight. Let's look at what happened here. It was a swing in favor of our boys. Four spades in both tables, making in one, not in the other. So West open one heart, one spade by north, two hearts, good spade raise, usually by south and four and north ended the bidding with four spades. I think that east should have raised, but I'm a, an inveterate raiser. I am, I really think it's so common to, to see, so much more common to see bad results coming from not raising than from raising. And I think another third, even the lowly queen, is enough. And the double two, I think it's enough. So I would have raised with East's cards. And I don't know what would have happened. In five hearts, the Claire can lose only three tricks. Perhaps four tricks. Depends on the defense. There's a problem of entries. But three or four tricks is the most that can happen here. Okay, and so it's a it's a nice sacrifice. I'm going down one or two, and it might push them into five spades. So this was a comfortable bidding for north south, more comfortable than it might have been. And over two hearts, perhaps West should have doubled, if they played that. A double in this auction is good hearts, which is, I would guess, what most people play, even though I don't recommend it. I don't think it's the best way to, to play it. I think it's best to play it as a takeout double of spades, which is not far from what West has anyway, but she's weak to try to play at the three level opposite a pass partner without any guaranteed feet. But this is another opportunity to make things harder for North South. And four spades, there's two hearts and a diamond to be lost. And the Clara can always make established clubs. No, it's it's not that easy to make four spades, huh? They have six spades and ace king ace is nine. So the best that the defense can do, I think the Claire can always make one one lowly diamond rough, regardless of the defense, even if they, let's say, lead a heart 
and the clara miss guess is playing the king an ace of hearts heart of the queen and now a, a spade a diamond duct and now the spade ace king of clubs pitching the fourth diamond ace of diamonds diamond rough and now north's hands is all high so careful play should win this low hard lead and the clara did not play the king play the eight which is good for preventing the first trump switch So what happened here was that the Clara was trying to establish clubs rather than rough a diamond. And this was enough because now I can play that dangerous deuce of spades that he was not able to play so far underneath the king and made 10 tricks. At the end, he ended up having to rough a diamond. He flirted with danger here, but nothing bad happened and here one heart one spade two hearts is advocated four spades by south which is a practical bid but and, and it blocked any any search for a scientific sacrifice by east west let's see what happened why did the clara go down okay heart and the jack of hearts and the king of diamonds let's just ha you just have to cash the oh now this is a subtle variation on what happened at the other table but now the clara has not cashed the king of clubs yet both the clara's are suffering from a kind of blind spot here because it's so much easier to cash these king of clubs and lose a diamond and claim But here North will be punished harshly for not having cashed the King of Diamonds. There you go. Bye-bye. Game. This game can be harsh, man, folks. Okay, so let's look at the next swings. There's a series of small swings, but all against the Chagas team here. Four, six, and six. Let's see. Not so small when you count them all together. So, one diamond from south, one heart. Both west and east don't have any easy entry into the auction. One diamond, one heart, one spade, two clubs. The XYZ convention forcing two diamonds to invite. And then three spades. It's the strongest spade invitation that he might get and south bid game because his queen jack of hearts he was hoping that they would connect well with west's with north's heart suit and they might if that 10 nine of clubs were in hearts for sure it would be a much better and easy game to make so it's rather unlucky that they did not two hearts Two hard owners in partners bid suit did not connect. Quite unlucky. And clubs are all stacked against him. So he's bound to lose two clubs, one diamond and one heart. And there's nothing that can be done about all that. The defense is playing a neutral game. Wow. Allowing him to make the six of hearts. Can that change matters? Not really, because he still he has to draw trumps, so he'll make only five trumps, four plus one rough. He'll make three hearts, are eight, and one diamond is nine. His best shot would have been some mispitch, but both players defend the diamond suit, so. Uh, 
and curious, curiously enough, if he's watching the spots, he can now make it by playing the queen of clubs. It depends on how the opponents carding describe their hands. It would have been a very nice ending to be able to win the game by making the six of hearts due to West's mistake and the four of clubs. But it didn't come to, to pass. Okay, and at the other table, after a similar beginning, East double two clubs, and this was enough for North to invite more timidly, and then South preferred to pass. And let's see how the defense was. West obligingly led the club, so East switched to hearts, no. No six of hearts making tricks here. Two trumps drawn and a diamond to the queen. Another club. We're reaching the same position basically, but without making the six of hearts, not even scooping that seven of clubs, not even playing the queen of clubs would be enough. Just into this board. Next board, a very heavy three club opening that is sure to be not duplicated at the other table because the guys at the other table are the friskiest preemptors in Brazil. But this was a, a good moment to do that. Three clubs losing two spades and one heart and one diamond only. Ace of spades and the king of spades and a diamond. Yeah, very nice defense. I'll declare draw trumps and lose a heart. So let's see what happened at the other uh, table. I close what I did not want to close. At the other table, West open one heart. They are aggressive, and so he's forced to game. Showing clubs at some point, I suppose. Yeah, two hearts is diamonds or balanced hand. So spade asks, and so south double to ask for the spade lead. To no trump is a balanced hand. Three spades asks for a stopper. And West pretended he had a stopper because he didn't have anything much better to offer. Even though four hearts, if three hearts here over to no trumps were a doubleton honor, this should, would have been a very good auction. But as it were, they ended in three no trumps and South had an easy time defeating it. And our final swing, one spade by East, pass, one no trumps, pass, nothing to bid here. Two clubs pass two hearts, all pass. It is perhaps a bit timid of them to stop only two hearts, but they, after all, they have only 12 and 11 and not a big, a great fit anywhere. So I don't know what happened at the other table. Let's see here. Diamond lead. Now the Clark cashes the ace of spades to discard a club. And he'll lose only one heart and two clubs. He'll make, she'll make 11 tricks, not 10 tricks. Ah, uh, now there is a, a matter of roughing with the honor here to prevent this over rough. So he'll make, she will make only nine tricks, but she could have made 10. if She's roughed with an honor. Let a heart of the 10, spade rough with a six, and jack of hearts drawing the last trump. If they were in game, there would be no other line of play. And finally, I, don't, I hope this 
One spade, two hearts. So West forced to game. Two spades, spades in a minor. Three hearts is hearts and diamonds. And three no trumps. And three no trumps is, a, is an unlucky mesh because there's no communication to to make the hearts. That single ace of diamonds is very bad. Queen of hearts ducked. Heart to the ace. And the Clara is on, on track to make five diamonds, two hearts, and one spade is eight. And nothing else. It was well done by the cleric. He could have gone down quite a lot if he did not try to if not play for one down because if he repeated the hard finesse which would in a sense be playing south to be misdefending so he trusted the opponents to not do anything very bad and after some Exchanges here and there, he ended with the same eight tricks he had since the beginning. It's five diamonds, two hearts, and one ace. That was our final match in the Swiss qualifying phase. Thank you for watching and visit our website www.thebridgeexperts.com or our YouTube channel, which is where this video is hosted. And let me put a plug in for soon to be uh, soon to be announced new facebook group or whatsapp group for people to offer questions comments uh, anything that strikes your fancy that you would like to hear the opinion of our experts you can get into our facebook group and ask them away ask whatever you want to ask and we will be there to to do to help to do our best to clarify your your doubts about this wonderful game of bridge thanks for watching bye bye